Jewmander, and and a Jew. And here we are in Ambrosia. Bug, do not easy. speak to you. To be busy. Hey, that's perfect. You can be a voice actor in this. Nah, actually, I was a little too well or voice so, acted. Who the fuck's whistling? Um, <laughs> that's a good question here. <laughs> oh, that that sound is a crystal appearing because we read that book. So instead of the virtues, the uh, the gargoyles have another system with uh, a like a really trinity, sound. a trinity of things that go into the singularity, which is their core. It's their spirituality, and then a bunch of other combinations. Which no, 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 no. Eight combinations. Let's take a step back. It it, it doesn't make any sense, and it's just yeah. Three principles. Where the fuck are we? How did we get here? Uh, the... <laughs> the shrine made a whirlpool to teleport us to Ambrosia, which is under, or maybe beside, or somewhere in the vicinity underwater. It's at the bottom of the ocean. It's in a giant dome. The gargoyles made it because, uh, in one of the previous games, the avatar, <laughs> the avatar made the gargoyle underworld collapse and be destroyed, and they were exiled to the surface. So they went underwater. But this doesn't. This is all just silly. <laughs> this is supposed to be their great city, but it's like five buildings. There's not even enough places for the ones that we see to live, and this isn't really much of a civilization since there's like. 12 people, 12 gargoyles, and they're two separate races too, there's winged and wingless ones, mm. so really none of this makes any sense. No, I, it's just, we needed, I, I thought we felt we needed that. The, the, there are more gargoyles uh, in the tutorial of Ultima 6 than there are in this entire game, probably. I, yeah, again, I, just, I, I was just, uh, for, for purpose of clarification, why we were here. Oh, oh, the shrine made a whirlpool to send us here magically, because it's underwater. Uh, I don't know how the shrine managed to get the whirlpool to dump us right in the center of this dome underwater. Uh, they've apparently got a leak or something. There's just water there. All in all, this this place is really boring and really ugly. And battle music, because this one guy is like really slowly chasing us. And this just goes to the ocean But floor. it's different battle music. Is it? Yeah. Bum. 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 Uh, okay. Slow. I don't know. It, it's <laughs> it's too hard to tell over the bathroom to sounds of the curious that you have ambient come here, music. Human. To know that this is not the safest of places for humans. To ask why you have come down here amongst the gargoyles. To look and marvel at our wonderful dome and superior technology, perhaps? Totally. Also, you're why am I in danger bots. here? To know that you are in danger because you are the Avatar. Thank you. To at know least that he does know that I am the Avatar spoken of in the book calling of me human for a while. What is the Book of Prophecy? To remember that the Book of Prophecy so this is, is just a grand a and holy dunk. gargoyle book that tells the... To I, know I don't that think the book anybody's going to really care, but I went through all this anyway. ...as the false prophet. Finally, to know that the this book is just a condensed that you will bring of about the, the previous destruction games of the gargoyle race. In them. So you think that I will destroy your race? To know that the prophecy will be fulfilled. Wow, to know how do you that know that? Maybe because you wrong. fulfill your own prophecies. all of the wonderful things possessed by the gargoyles. Because of bad writing. Is the greatest. You know, I just hate it when they write things and things happen because someone us. said it was going to happen. The Book of Prophecy, as, as written by Dan Brown. The book cannot be changed. To therefore accept <laughs> the prophecy and mourn the loss of the greatest of civilizations. Yeah, okay. Really? <laughs> this great I civilization? To destroy your people. You got a leak? Sure I just love the, the confusion. I do not plan side. to destroy your people. To remind Shake you said. that it was prophesied long ago that you would desecrate our most holy shrine. To remind yeah, you yeah. further that it was prophesied that our most holy artifact, 
the codex would be stolen. Well, you know, I can gone. tell you who has the codex right now if you want to go get it. That the false prophets would descend into the earth and cause the earth itself to collapse. Yeah, and we destroyed done. the underworld. And now, to see you again means that the third sign is near, and what is left of our race will surely well, be destroyed. Well, there's like 12 of you, so <laughs> like... Yeah. A flu could wipe you out. I'm investigating you know? the columns that Gargoyle are causing problems flu. on the surface. I like so how the no, avatar just changes. Happy that we gargoyles do not suffer from such problems. Changes topics and they, oh, we don't have, we don't suffer from such trivial shit. Our race is going to be wiped out, but we don't suffer from such trivial shit. Brought us here to our safe and happy paradise. <laughs> this, it doesn't seem so like a safe and no happy paradise. You just said you're going to be wiped out by me. To tell you that our Queen Zar is very upset. However, no, nothing is ever our Queen Zar is very, to come close, very upset. To be very proud of my race and our accomplishments. Oh, Why proud! Is angry? He's proud, to see that she and this is the shrine the of humility and the column the of pride. And and shut the fuck up! Of pride. will be angry about this. To know that the Codex is the holy oh, book of the gargoyles. God. Not only the human. Okay, so so the point here is that the codex is I would like, like to see your queen. Something to be that would <laughs> be impossible for a lonely human Mary. to have audience yeah. with the queen. The avatar is so that audience. humans could look at one it when they were on quest, the but the gargoyles wanted to look at it when they were on quest. Although what quest gargoyles ever undertake is never made clear. Well, but you didn't watch that great game. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> goddamn! I am looking for Hithlar. Can you help me? You speak to wisdom. Hithlop. To go to his house. That's a but dumbest to need name. To fly because also Wislam's dumb name, Wislam. To be the only one who knows <laughs> but to, to know that his house Why is floating. To know that you are a risk here. <laughs> to understand you did not seek to be the destroyer of a race. To remind you that others in Ambrosia remember the prophecy. To have need to leave now. Okay, <laughs> so like he tried to, so like Richard Gary tried to do Yoda speak with this or something. Like yeah, that. kind of. The, their books are just symbols. I'm sure there's like a translation key somewhere, but honestly, it's just gonna be you know worship my body with your lustful it'll touches worse. or something. It'll actually be worse. <laughs> yeah. Stroke. It'll be talking about stroking my wings. <laughs> And he was a wingless it's, it's gargoyle. It's just gonna be twink porn. <laughs> and he was a wingless gargoyle, and uh, yeah. Though our races are I always are for... find the wingless strangely rousing with their massive stabs. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh, I forgot to kill a wingless one and take their staff, but their stabs are actually really badass for uh, staff weapon. As far as staff weapons go, like, and I bet you can never get back down here again. Uh, no, but I think I can get a hold of an oh, get a hold of one at some point later. But if not, it doesn't matter since uh, I'm trying to think how many videos ahead. But we get like the ultimate staff pretty pretty soon. Basically, the next time we visit the mainland, I'm just gonna go on a side track and get all the really really nice shit that I know is around. You see a wingless invader. Actually, I think uh, that treasure map that we found that had the key that went with it, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, that... Uh, headquarters of the Gargoyle Master Race. Yeah, so this is their neo-Nazi headquarters. Uh, this guy doesn't mind us straight up walking in here and taking a bunch of gems to and then talking to him. Thank you, familiar. This guy's Draco Malfoy. I am Malfoy. nearly lost, sir, in search of Hithloth. <laughs> to think you lie. To think instead that you came here to marvel at our wonders. Ah, wonders. To think perhaps That's what I call yeah. mine. <laughs> They're bicycle shorts. Sorry for such a <laughs> Marveling at their wonders. Creature as you. No, I thought they just like cutouts. Maybe They're never new. How you can like you call us do? a wingless creature? Look at what we're wearing. <laughs> <ones, of course, laughs> That's why I wanted to come to down here hearing this. You should be proud to receive so great an honor. Should be proud. You honor me Proud with your generosity. Pride. Shut up. Observant for a wingless one. 
What is your They're name? They're like that anyway, Ruby, man. If I remember the gargoyles correctly, they're just Ruby, pretty much assholes in every existence yeah. to the existence <laughs> to the queen. But now they've crossed the line. Could you direct They're in Ultima 9, place? that means they're shit! Uh, to want to meet the great um, inventor. Uh, to want to be confused. I would like to hear about the dome. Uh, really, <laughs> really, I have to ask them every fucking option here. Can you here. tell me about the Temple of Singularity? <laughs> tell me the shrine of gargoyle philosophy. Yeah, okay, I so there's a puzzle now. here. To, to go see the queen, we need the Amulet of Singularity, and we also need uh, the Power Crystal for her door. That's the, the ultimate goal here. And every once in a while, when you walk past a winged gargoyle, they go aggressive and very slowly, like, kind of float towards you, but they'll never catch you. So it's pretty much just constantly battle music over top of bubbling bathroom sounds. Um, so the holding cell crystal is part of the trading sequence that gets us those two items that we need. And you know, honestly, uh, I don't think we actually need the amulet. I think we just need to like see it. But I pick because, it up. Because well, why not? But I pick it up because I I don't really know for sure if it's useful later on. I'm trying to find this little alcove up on one of these walls that has a ton of money, like just off in a corner somewhere. But I can't find it. I'm also trying to. No, nope, I was already here. So you can dig around on the outskirts of this town for a while. And the in great fact, I do. civilization. Thank you very, very much. They've got a lot of wasted space here. Well, you know, you just don't understand their master plan. I'm pretty sure you could get a few more floating buildings in here, and it wouldn't yeah, violate zoning at all. You don't really need the. Oh, okay. So here's the thing. Um, last time I did this, well, I'll explain it when I do this. That gargoyle that's over there yeah. followed me all the way over here, and I was I was seeing if he would do it again because it was really stupid. And yeah, he's look how slowly they come. Da, 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 da. So we don't actually need to do this, but I'm going to because it's exceptionally dumb. Oh, he's finally caught up to us. What's he gonna do? He's gonna flash. Oh, he flashed again. Oh. <laughs> I guess he's just like the airborne equivalent of shuffling his feet on some carpet and then walking up and touching us. <laughs> what is he doing? He's trying, he's like, trying to let you go, you bro. But it's not hurting me or doing anything. Well, you've got too high, high, high grade armor. <laughs> I mean, you're wearing worm guard armor, bro. I mean, that's maybe it's the shield, or maybe it's those gauntlets, or maybe it's the fact that I'm to going think, fair. To think. Who are you? To be too young, to not have a name. Why do you say you are bad? God. To be killed by the winged bad ones soon. To tell me I bad, because to kill the winged ones. Why are you killing other gargoyles? To kill a worker. To fly. You have boots that let you fly? To have boots, <gasps> but not to fit. To give Aww. boots to you. <gasps> to let you fly. To kill the bad one. Yes, I would like that to sounds see great. These boots. <laughs> to kill the flying I would like bad one. To boots. provide are good. They prana? Or Jimmy Choo. <laughs> so here you see how it goes into it takes control away so that you can walk out of here and let this guy out. Well that wing gargoyle got stuck like in the doorway behind me, uh -huh. so I couldn't leave. So this guy just kept turning around in his cell <laughs> for like five minutes you and I couldn't get control back. Wall, not really. Oh yeah, because you couldn't to get control illusion, back to Nicola, could to you? Find no. body I hide. Yeah, okay. Secret wall. Yep. It's just a fake wall, and you could walk through that at any time, or jump up to the wall and drop down here, to this area. And over here is a Daresh's corpse, with boots of levitation, and a scroll that has instructions on it for how to use the boots. So here's the important thing about the boots of levitation. They're really annoying, 
Mm -hmm. They make you walk really slowly in air, and then when you press jump again, you fall back down. Ahoy there! Who are you? I haven't seen another soul since I wound up in this place. I'm Grand, the best shipbuilder in these parts of the world. Really? These parts <laughs> of the world? You're the How only you ship down here. It's the strangest thing. I ain't never fell asleep at the wheel on any watch before. But there I was, tacking eastward, and I started getting real sleepy, like I'd been drugged. Next thing I know, there was this <laughs> Someone giant put something in my it. drink! I, <laughs> I couldn't avoid this great yeah, blasted whirlpool that came up out of either. nowhere. A black... <laughs> Why does he, he look like he's going to get, going to get finger Rock. food? <laughs> Granted, they ain't the best what does he have? Look at how he's dressed. So you gotta make do with what you're given. Why does he have such a bad accent? Stuff here that was part of me cargo, but they ain't of no use to me. Can't build a boat. I got some stuff that's part of me me cargo. Yeah. Rocks? The fuck. You're going to try to build a boat out of rocks? Well, I grant you that it ain't the best material, but there's nothing else down here. You don't think I can build a boat out of rocks? Not one that will float, no. Well, what do you know? <laughs> you ain't no shipwright. You're starting to bother me. Oh, All right, so there. who are you? He just goes back into his I'm introduction. A if you don't just know passing through. Well, you yeah. sure picked the deuce odd place to be traveling. Oh, how wow. did you get that? It's the strangest, but they're horrible voice acting. The... Bad writing too. How do you? Rock. It's the whole what kind whole of package items here. Do you have? Tell you what. If you'd like to buy something, take a look at this manifest and let me know oh, so what you want. Oh, he's a traitor. Yeah, he's... Because you can't trade with like any of the gargoyles, because that wouldn't make sense. But no, this guy... Gargoyle. We can we can sell him all our jewelry. He apparently has the money for all this jewelry. And wait for it, wait for it. Ruby bracelet. We actually have two of those. And jade ring. That's the necklace that I was talking to you about. It's oh. a necklace called jade ring. Wow. That's endlessly fascinating to me. I'm, I'm going to keep talking about that. We could sell him a bunch of our scrolls, too. Because even You're though he says he doesn't back, need even. magical stuff, he'll buy so the scrolls. Just in case somebody else items. comes down here and he can mark it up. Thanks. I guess. I'd like to look at that list. We know right. a gargoyle might come by, want to buy something. This guy is actually important because he's got our first... Feel free scroll. to come back if you need... There you Jesus go. Christ. And that's a level one spell... That we can basically just spam and completely do away with the need for healing potions from now on. <laughs> Not that you will, still won't keep a whole bunch of them in your inventory. No, well, well, yeah. It, from now on, I'll just be drinking them and that to empty out the flask so that I can make more uh, magic potions. <laughs> because for the amount of magic that you restore from a magic potion, you can get like two or three heal spells off, which heal at. Each one heals as much as a health potion. Basically, there's no reason to have anything other than magic potions at this point, but... You know, what's, what's the fun in that? Oh, so... <laughs> thank you. No, thank no, no, you. no, I'm not no-clipping. This is just what happens when you strafe left or right while, <laughs> while using the flying boots. You still have to go up and down slowly. <laughs> <laughs> and forward slowly, but if you go left or right, he just kind of zips along. <laughs> no, I, I have not enabled no clipping yet. <laughs> this is all authentic. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm trying to find like, that place that I was talking about with all the gold, but I... Like, when you're, when you're developing this game, okay? <laughs> Nobody ever tried this, I guess, in testing. Or maybe they did, and they literally couldn't figure it out. But then Why the, is he doing this? Then the boots of levitation won't work. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> so here's the Master Race headquarters, and if we go above it, or behind it, yeah, behind it is a wingless guy just kind of sitting there. Maybe he's the one whistling? No. And then there's like this little corner with walls built around it. And then a dude hanging out <laughs> oh, yeah, the side yeah. of the That's the ocean, by wall. the way. <laughs> That's the ocean. Oh, he's a fucking gargoyle. Like, what's that? You know, I... look at how much money there is down here. That's what I, I don't get. Like, is the, the thing down here because they can breathe underwater or something? But then why would they need a giant airtight dome? But then. They don't like getting wet. Okay. That's yeah. fair enough. They they look like they have open wounds all over themselves. So here's Master Wislam's residence, which is not where we were told to go. We were told to go to his workshop. 
Oh, why does he have a book about infernal armor potions? Mm. Why, why, uh, why does he have fresh fruit? Where'd he get this? He's hungry. Where'd he get it? Well, occasionally they he ha he has create reagents. Oh, okay. There, I'll solve I'll solve that question <laughs> for you. He can create reagents. Okay. Wait, what's that thing coming? No, is this how to? these boots are supposed to work? Yeah, yeah. This is. This to is wonder why unchanged. you are late. To need help with Queen's statue. <laughs> to need you to finish my work. To wait a minute though. To see that you are human. <laughs> To think hey. that this is most peculiar. Pretty observant. Nice like, pets. Who are you? To be named Wislem. To be called Wise One. Wislem. Really? Wise Thank one. you. Thank you. To be Thanks. too busy to speak to you. To see oh, you I get it. Okay. Sub -race, yeah. And to demand you work for me. To see you have flying boots. See, this guy's got to an help animated me make face. Ambrosia perfect. I hate the ones with animated faces because they to just turn have two. Statue to take part in what will be the Gargoyle's proudest moment. Pride. Proudest I will moment. The statue. To take I will activate the statue. And finish wonderful work. To be certain you will not come back until you do. Okay, I must so. Be I don't, uh, this is the point where I stop caring. Thank God. <laughs> and just go finish this because it's taken too long already. There's the queen statue. It's supposed to look like her. Which Funny, will, it, it Which will make more sense, I guess, later, but not really. And Zaz sculpture. I don't get this. So when we put the missing red one in there, how'd the other ones get in there? God only knows. Uh, it makes magic fairies happen and then it starts to spin and then hey look it's got a chain yeah it's got a chain but it doesn't get all packed oh, you spoke too soon <laughs> look it's made a texture fall from the side up as I destroy wait and then it just cuts to this we're standing in the middle of the city and like half the buildings are in ruins wow. good good evil Valkadesh. To show I <laughs> so he killed the uh, the leader of the master race place the the asshole guy the really oh <laughs> and then a woman scream and then the the chunk of stuff just falls on him <laughs> Are we supposed to feel bad about this? No. What, what's happening here? Uh, you know, what was that? It's, it's, His body's completely gone. Be a fool, Avatar. To know my <laughs> To have let our pride kill our people. To know that we are dying. To save a Oh, God. To then find the Sagralim, who is outside the dome. And to give him the egg. To save the Gorgoyle race. To yeah, find yeah. Queen's chamber. To save one gargoyle egg. How do Despite I leave my foolish pride? To find teleport through quick to find power cube. To find in my Okay, workshop. so it, here's the last things we need to get into the queen chamber. Okay, so now the 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 wingless guys are going to attack us too because we just totally wrecked this place. Um. This is above where those crystals came out when we read those books, and it gave us a little green thing. We have to put the green thing in here now that we can fly. And it's not quite... there we go. And it rotates that to enter us to know the sacred way. And that opens up the force field. And it gives us the Amulet of Singularity, which we can take. I don't think we actually need it. I can't remember if we ever use it for anything. I think it was just a trigger that needed to happen. And they couldn't... They couldn't figure out, just like... Uh, in Despise, where breaking a box made my karma go down. Uh -huh. I think that was just a trigger they couldn't figure out, unless they attached it to something ridiculous. So now we gotta find Wislam's house and put the crystal that he gave us in to get the power cube. To and I've completely forgotten where it is, and it because it was flying. Turns out that's because it's not flying anymore. 
It's this is a really, really long. This is really boring. Yeah. Oh, there it is. For yeah. no real, no real reason that I can discern. No, it's just more padding between the uh, the dungeon or before the dungeon. So here's his workshop, and with no real good explanation for why we're actually doing this, like. Well, we had to destroy the, the the gargoyles, and now we have to go save a queen's egg and give it to Pythagorlum, the gargoyle who was in Lord British's castle. He's like the emissary or something, or diplomat. Yeah, but here's the thing. What, why am I doing this? I already, like, this is so dis This is where the shrine sent me. Yeah, but it's so disconnected to what the, what the shrine needed. No, no, they're, pr they're prideful. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> This is all connected to the to the column. See, they they thought they weren't being affected by the surface world, but it turns out the columns. Okay, so glass sword time. This is a boss and fight. Bal silver, to know that one last time shall the false prophet come to destroy all that remains of the gargoyle race. Do not wow. allow you to kill me. To kill me is to kill gargoyle people. To be only one way the prophecy may be averted. To sacrifice the prophet. And another person prophet. with a voice modulator. If you notice, her arm is clipping into her belly the entire time. Oh doing. god, that's really disgusting animation. She's just throwing rocks at us. And one hit from the glass sword shatters the glass sword and causes... The most ridiculous animation possible. And... We lost karma for that. Oh, but we gained karma for that! <laughs> Two things we absolutely have to do to progress. Kill the queen and get the queen egg. <laughs> so I guess we're back where we started. There's drone eggs here too. But if you take one of those, it fucks you over later. Because you can't ever come back here. Uh, Are I don't these think so, the no. actions of a hero? Avatar, why must you prolong the inevitable? Britannia is mine. Whatever. Yeah, but he's the uh, coolest character it, in the game. If you run into this chamber t to, say, equip the glass sword because you forgot uh, without killing the queen and she's still aggressive, he has some other line that is just as dumb. And here's why I went ahead and burned through that uh, that glass sword is because there's another one that we get as a reward for that for doing that boss fight. Boss a fight. billion potions, including ominously two blue potions. <laughs> Thanks. Oh boy. Thanks. So I forgot I accidentally equipped the glass sword, which I don't want. Because God knows if if I lost. If I lost that and wasted it, whatever would we do? Okay, so here's the teleporter that just appears because we have a queen egg. And I'm trying to get up on there with that. Oh, I have to walk up and then drop down onto it. And this takes us to Hitlop, where we can jump because the boots of levitation only work in Ambrosia. They're completely useless now. Nice. So we just put on our... So we're in the third... Choice. We're in the second... Uh, second dungeon. Uh, this dungeon? Incredibly annoying. And some guy asked if I was going to show off the uh, the optional part because this, this dungeon, they just kind of cut it off like halfway <laughs> and put a teleporter to leave. Because even they realized, like, at some point that it was so bad. Well, and, and you had to wander through, like, so yeah. much more shit. Okay, so this in. is the end. This is the end, and, uh... With really bad sound effects. Oh, that continues and gets louder. Oh, yeah, this is the cricket you were telling us about. <laughs> Lovely. Have a good time. Lovely. Flying boot. Yeah, that was one of my secret saves. Lovely. <laughs> Oh, please stop it. <laughs> Goodbye. Jesus Christ.